Ignorance and want are a strong warning to Scrooge, but the child who sticks in Scrooge's mind most firmly is the Cratchit's son, Tiny Tim. <laughs> at the end of the Christmas dinner, do you remember he's gone to the Cratchit's uh, with the ghost of Christmas present? Bob proposes a Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. God bless us, everyone, said Tiny Tim, the last of all. He sat very close to his father's side upon his little stool. Bob held his withered little hand in his, as if he loved the child and wished to keep him by his side and dreaded that he might be taken from him. Spirit, said Scrooge, with an interest he'd never felt before. Tell me if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat, replied the ghost, in the poor chimney corner, and a crutch without an owner carefully preserved. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. Oh no, said Scrooge, no, 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 say he will be spared. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, none other of my race, returned the ghost, will find him here. And what then? If he'd be like to die, he'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. Scrooge hung his head to hear his own words, quoted by the spirit, and was overcome with penitence and grief. Oh, man, said the ghost, will you decide what men shall live and what men shall die? It may be that in the sight of heaven you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions than this poor man's child. Oh, God. To hear the insect on the leaf pronouncing on the too much life of his hungry brothers in the dust. We're going to play this beautiful, you shouldn't say that about your own writing, should you? But I'm going to. <laughs> this beautiful theme of uh, tinge with nostalgia, yearning. And as we play it, I want you to ask in your heart Will Tiny Tim live? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.